A dark money group with ties to health insurance giants Humana and CVS Health has just launched a massive ad campaign lobbying against Medicare expansion in the reconciliation bill. The provisions would add dental, hearing, and vision benefits to traditional Medicare packages, cutting into private insurers' pockets. According to the Daily Poster, the Better Medicare Alliance has aired $3 million worth of these misleading ads thanking Senators Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin for their, quote, fight for seniors as the two senators continue to hold out on the spending bill. Founder of the Daily Poster, David Sirota, and reporter Julia Rock join us now to discuss. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, David, we'll start with you. So what, what do you think is the, has been the impact of this, of this messaging? Uh, is, there, is there a danger it's going to make, make a difference, I guess, in, in getting people to vocally support what cinema and Manchin are doing? Well, I think what it does is it, it tries to cast their efforts to block the reconciliation bill as an effort to protect seniors. There's a lot of confusion about what the reconciliation bill actually does. Uh, and so there's a lot of messages being aired in various states trying to portray what the reconciliation bill is and is not. And these are some of the most misleading ads. I mean, you've got a situation where uh, this group funded by uh, health insurers uh, doesn't want an expansion of Medicare uh, and is therefore trying to portray essentially stopping the reconciliation bill as a way to protect seniors. But of course, as you mentioned, the provisions at issue uh, related to these ads and in the reconciliation bill are provisions to expand Medicare benefits to seniors. So what I think it really shows at kind of a meta level is how dishonest uh, the corporate interests that want to shape this bill, how dishonest they're willing to be. I mean, portraying an expansion of Medicare uh, as somehow an assault on seniors, I mean, it kind of boggles the mind, but it's it's cynical in the sense of it's presuming that, that the audience for these ads doesn't even really know what's in the bill. And Julia, can you talk a little bit about how this, this kind of spending fits into the campaign finance uh, e ecosystem? You know, Cinema this last quarter only raised about $1.1 million, which is a fraction of, of what a lot of others raised who were fully supportive of the, the full kind of Biden agenda here. But on top of what she raised directly, you have this massive influx of money into Arizona uh, boosting her. So how do, how do politicians think about uh, this type of outside support versus hard money that comes right into their campaign accounts? Yeah, to, to add on to what David was saying, I think if you think about it in terms of, you know, what people in Arizona or in this case, West Virginia as well, are seeing on TV every day about the reconciliation bill. Um, you know, you have a lot of people back at home who who see these groups thanking Senator Cinema for helping them. Um, we've we've reported on other ad campaigns in Arizona at the Daily Poster that are also thanking Senator Cinema for her work in D.C. So you know, if you think about the the media diet and the ad diet of of people back home in Arizona, um, kind of seeing that Cinema is fighting for seniors is fighting for them. That's a huge boost for her, you know, aside from just the money that's going back into her reelection campaign, which is still a long ways off. Well, does that does that speak to, you know, a, an issue that progressives are having, you know, trying to get the actual substance of the bill, trying to get the media to cover it and people to understand it? Um, because, you, you know, you ha I think you often have a case where individual, even though I'm not for everything in the bill, individual aspects of it poll favorably, but then all lumped together, it doesn't poll as well, and people don't really understand it. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, it's not, it's not just the news where people are getting their information about this bill. Again, as we've been reporting, there's a lot of information about the bill coming through these corporate advertisements, and it's just wrong. And in this case, Medicare Advantage is pretty complicated, deliberately so. Um, so this group has been successful in kind of being deceptive in the way that they are typically in their marketing tactics to bring people onto these plans. They're being deliberately deceptive about what the bill is doing and that's kind of constituting a large portion of the information people are getting about the reconciliation bill. And so, yeah, I think part of that is, you know, a failure on the part of progressives to successfully, um, you know, sell to voters what's in the bill, especially in these states, West Virginia and Arizona, where people could benefit a lot from provisions in the reconciliation bill. 
And David, am I, am I right that if, if you think back to the 2005 when Republicans expanded Medicare to include prescription drug coverage, that, that Democrats kind of ironically made this, this same argument at the time, that if you expanded Medicare's benefits to cover prescription drugs, that you were actually undermining it by expanding it? I mean, you're, you're challenging my memory. I, I, I have trouble remembering exactly that. But yes, this is always what happens, that any change in the system uh, that might help people is portrayed uh, by vested corporate interests who, who have an interest in the status quo. It's portrayed by them as somehow an attack on the people uh, who would benefit. And, and I think it, it's really important to understand uh, that these ads, uh, I want to just go back to that point that was made earlier, that these ads really are part of a larger campaign for these lawmakers. That yes, there's the money that comes into a lawmaker's campaign account, but there's also the money, the outside money, uh, the money that that was at issue, by the way, in citizen in this original Citizens United case, which is outside money uh, that is promoting them in their states. I mean. In a, in a certain sense, there's very little difference uh, between that outside money and the money in the campaign coffers because it's all designed to do the same thing, which is to get that lawmaker reelected. So in a certain sense, it doesn't necessarily matter as much how much Kirsten Cinema or uh, Joe Manchin have raised in, in their campaign coffers, or it, only, it doesn't only matter. What matters is to look at the larger picture of how much they are being essentially bankrolled, both in their campaign yeah. and in outside side spending at home. And and by, by the way, we, we're reporting now that five veteran advisors slated to work for Kirsten Cinema have resigned. Quote, you have become one of the principal obstacles to progress answering to big donors rather than your own people. The veterans wrote in a letter, uh, according to The New York Times, uh, just quickly before we go, can we get your reaction to that, Julia? Um, I mean, good for them, I guess. But yeah, I think it just it just adds on to what what David is saying that, you know, people are are hearing from corporate donors about what Kristen Cinema is doing. Um, and, you know, the donors like it. She's acting on what they've asked, you know, that they want her to do. Uh, they're boosting her in exchange for it. So, you know, that that description of what she's doing resonates. Julian, uh, and if I, can, if I can just add yeah, real quickly, sure. I just very, very quickly, I think it is a confirmation of what has been reported in following the money. In other words, there's this whole, there's been this whole idea of, oh, what, what's really motivating Kirsten Cinema? Is it this? Is it that? Does she just want to be a maverick? What this does is confirm uh, that it really is the money that is motivating her. David and Julia, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thanks thank so you. Much. And we'll be back with more Rising right after this.